So we can see the potential of sweet sorghum as an ethanol crop, but to talk about production, Chad Gotzi's here joining us. Chad, how are you doing today? I'm pretty good. How about you? Good. How does this vary for folks, you know, producers out there in the state? How is this different than the, the grain sorghums they traditionally grow? Actually, uh, the sweet sorghums are, are very similar to, uh, to grain sorghum and forage, forage sorghums, which we've uh, grown decades uh, here in Oklahoma. The, uh, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of, uh, of actual experience growing sweet sorghums in, in Oklahoma. Uh, historically, they've been grown in the so southeastern part of the U.S., uh, mainly for, for syrup and uh, sweeteners and things of that, of that, in that nature. All right, so but it, it does seem to like the climate, I and mean, we've certainly got a good stand going here. It does. It does. Uh, the sorghums, uh, any sorghum, you know, can, can toler tolerate a lot of heat and some moisture stress. Uh, actually, these plots, you know, in June, uh, in July, uh, went through a, a two or three week period there without, without a lot of moisture, and you can see they recovered well and, uh, and look good. All right, now, of course, the, the key here is the juice. I mean, is, is getting enough out of that biomass. So how do we maximize that in our conditions? Mm -hmm. um, the, over the last couple of years, uh, we have seen that anything we can do to increase biomass will, will of course, increase uh, the juice extraction. The correlation between biomass and, and, uh, and juice extraction is, is uh, almost uh, on a one-to-one -one basis. So anything we can do to increase biomass uh, will get us more juice. Um, well, some of the things that we can do is, is uh, narrow the row spacing. Um, when we first started doing sweet sorghum research two or three years ago, we were planting on 30-inch centers, 30-inch uh, uh, row centers, uh, and we have seen this year uh, going down to 15 and even 7.5-inch rows uh, that we increase our biomass uh, quite drastically going to narrower rows. Absolutely. So then uh, let's talk about this as a rotational crop. What, what is the season for the sweet sorghums? Okay, uh, that's an excellent, excellent point. Um, that's one of the biggest benefits, I think, uh, of sweet sorghum, if we can get that introduced uh, or get a market developed here in Oklahoma, is the rotational uh, potential of the crop. Uh, it gives producers another option for, uh, for a summer uh, crop um, that's well adapted to Oklahoma. Um, so it, it, gives, it gives producers another option and it's very competitive, uh, you know, not, not a lot of weed management is needed with a crop that, you know, grows 12 foot tall, uh, not, not a lot of weed competition, uh, a lot of positive. And special equipment for planting, anything of that nature? Or? Uh, no, um, actually the seven half inch rows, one benefit of those narrow rows is that uh, most producers could use their grain drills and most people have, or most Oklahoma producers have grain drills, so uh, that's another benefit of the narrower row spacing. Uh, is uh, using equipment that we already have. Very good, Chad. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you.